Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar, and today I want to explain to you how to wire up and program for twin or sync mode. We have a video on explaining the difference between those two, so I'm not going to go into any detail on what the difference is between twin and sync mode, other than to show you how to program them, wire them, etc. I do want to point out that you're going to need firmware version 1811 or newer for both of these modes. You will need a six conductor phone cable. Something I want to point out about this cable, this particular cable can be purchased from our website. Uh, if you're in a buy and need to make your own, a phone cable, when they call it a straight through cable, becomes a mirror image from one end to the other. And what I mean by that, most people are familiar with ethernet cables. And when I say straight through on an ethernet cable, if the yellow wire is pin one, the yellow wire is pin one. On a phone cable, that is not true. Pin one becomes pin six on the other side. So the mirror images of each other. So just, just pay attention to that. Look at the drawing in the manual. Make sure you get those right or it won't work for you. So that's pretty much it on a phone cable, six conductor phone cable. Inside the kid, you're going to see a couple jacks and you're going to see some pins up here. If you're doing just two kids, you can ignore these pins. If you're doing a whole bunch of kids in sync mode, you're going to need to consult the manual to put the, the uh, jumpers on these pins. If you're doing just two kids, we're going to plug this blue cable into the top jack here labeled master. And that's going to plug into the second kit into the master jack as well. If you're doing more than two kids in sync mode, then the slave jack comes into play and follow the wiring diagram in the manual for the rest of the kids. One thing I want to point out in twin mode, it's important to get the PV wiring correct. We want to try to keep the resistance as close as possible. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. We're going to wire them both to the battery with proper breakers, overcurrent protection. They're both going to be wired to an individual PV array in sync mode or a single array in twin mode. And then we're going to put our communications cable in. So one thing I do want to point out with sync mode is say you had one kid in wind or one kid in hydro and one kid in solar or whatever the case may be, they can all coordinate. Whereas in twin mode, the array is a single array, so it has to be identical. Everything has to be right about that. Um, that being said, I think what we're going to do is we're going to stop the video we're going to go ahead and wire the, the communications cable up, get both kids powered up, and we're going to show you how to program twin or sync mode. Okay, so now we're back. You can see we've got them both wired up. We've got our communications cable between the master jacks on both kids. In this example, we're only using two. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to power these up for the first time and program them for twin or sync mode. I want to point out before we do that that Every kid has to be turned on within five seconds of each other the first time you do this. Because the first time we power these up, they're going to look for each other and detect how many kids are in the network. So this only has to be done the first time you power it up or say you add a third kid, then we'll do a factory restore and we'll bring them all online together so they all find each other. After that, we can turn them on in any sequence we want. But the very first time, we have five seconds to turn all of them on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Mario come in and turn the breakers on for me. I'm going to show you what's going on on the screen while we do that. So go ahead, Mario, if you would, please. Okay, they're both powering up, right out of the box, new factory, you know, settings. You can see they're looking for each other. A minute here, they're going to find each other, and they're going to come up and give me some choices. Now you can see I got twin mode and I got sync mode, and I got that on both controllers. So at this point, what I need to do is I need to pick one of these to be the master of the system, if you will. And I need to pick which mode I'm using. For this, I'm going to use sync mode. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get to sync mode because we're already in twin mode. So if we want to use twin mode, we just simply press enter now. But because I you know, want to show you the more complicated one, I'm going to go to sync. I'm going to use the right arrow to move this one to sync. This is going to make this the master kid. Press the enter button. Now you see they both come up in the factory restore. I want to point out that the slave in the factory restore doesn't matter what we set it to at all. It's just there because it is the factory restore out of the box. So we're going to program this one correctly. We have a flooded battery. We're going to leave it there. And we need to program in the absorb, the float, the equalized voltages. And those are really important voltages. Those are voltages the battery manufacturer is going to supply to you. And you really need those. So if you don't have those now and you're watching this video in preparation to firing up your kids, you want to get that information from your battery manufacturer and have that ready. Uh, we can change that later and I'm going to show you how to do that. So for now we're just going to leave it at default. I'm going to scroll through by pressing the right arrow, leave the float at default, we're going to leave the equalize at default, and we're going to leave the input function at default. 
the data has been saved. So now this one here, we're going to do the same thing just to get through the menu. I'm going to go ahead and just push the right arrow on everything, save it. It's going to come up. Now we are officially in sync mode. Now what I talked about earlier showing you how to change the battery voltage. We have a video on the battery menu, but I'm going to go in here and show you the battery menu anyways because I want to show you how they sync. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go into the battery menu and I'm going to go into the absorb menu. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this kid. I'm going to go into the battery menu. If I can push enter. I'm going to go into the absorb menu and you'll see it's 28.6. This is 28.6. I'm going to change that. Let's just run it up here somewhere. Let's go to like, there we go, 30.2. Now you watch. This kid is going to change to 30.2. What it does is every 10 seconds, this is going to send his data over to that. You'll notice it just switched to 30.2. So now I would go ahead and press save to save that value. That saves the value to both controllers. I would press status to go back to the main screen. Of course, we don't have any PV hooked up to this. So to recap what's happening here, this is the master kid. It's going to have the battery temperature sensor plugged into it. It's where you're going to do all your programming. When you make all your changes to the menu here, it's going to tell this kid once every 10 seconds what it's supposed to be doing. This kid is basically just going to sync to this one. If you had five or six more, they're going to sync to it as well. If one of them had a wind turbine on it, one of them had a hydro turbine on it, they're going to follow that one as well. Just, just, uh, it's just a nice little mode. It coordinates everybody, gets everybody doing the same thing. Um, the battery temperature will compensate down through. And basically what's happening is this one is doing all the brains of the work. And even if you don't calibrate the battery voltage on the other kids, this kid is going to tell them what to charge to. So if we had PV hooked up to this, solar panels hooked up to this, these would wake up and you'd notice these would all match because this one is telling everybody else what to do. And twin mode's a little bit different. When you go into twin mode, uh, same, same exact way. I would have selected twin on this one. It would have come up as twin one, which means it's in charge. This one would have just then, you know, been an accessory to this one. This one would have looked like a 60 amp controller and just done everything. Whereas in sync mode, they all operate individually. Um, yeah, and you must, Mario is telling me, you must do a factory reset to get into twin mode. So, okay, mode. yeah, so if I wanted to switch modes right now, I would have to do a factory reset. Or like I said earlier, let's say I've got two kids running and Mario just gave me four more solar modules and I want to put up a third kid. I'd get the third kid all wired up and ready. I would do my communications cables. I'd do a factory restore on all three kids and I'd turn all three kids on within five seconds of each other and they'll find each other. I pick a master, program it, and everybody's going to do what the master does. So. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to us. The manual should cover all this, no problem. Till next time, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar.